Take yeah. the photo, take the photo. Yeah. <coughs> Five people, hard put the ropes. The stone is one by one come down. When complete stone is come down, net is coming on the water. It's very hard. Uh -huh. One day, 200, 250 times this lifting. 250 yes, times a my, day? Look my hand. Oh, wow. With heavy work. Net wow, is we're enclosed inside Madam, the net. Net is coming on the water. Oh, look here. Spin okay. round. Oh, look. Oh, here comes the net. <laughs> Wow, here comes birds too. <laughs> small one fishes and they this. Come catch the fish. Here comes the captain. And this is not the season, madam. This time is very less fish. Ah, so when is the best fish? Good season is in December, January, February, month. That four months is better time. Mm. The same thing you see the fishing. The one fish, two fish, that's all small. Ah. Ah. Yeah. But you Seven do that how many times a day? One day, 200, 250 times. Every few yeah. minutes and lifting the zone. Wow. Every two, three minutes, every, every time lifting. And then take it out to market. Yes. That's amazing. That fish is and big fish is complete and yeah. deep sea fishing. Yeah. Not the Chinese fishing. Yeah. Ah, so just the small ones from this. Yeah, here only yeah. small ones. And after only helping for the European people. Yeah. And the European people take the photographs and complete the explaining. <laughs> doing good gifts for us. We are six people, six family. Yeah. Come the tourists take the photographs. And <coughs> 1,000, 2,000 give the gift. We are six people, six families, different, different families. The poor yeah. fish are... And they're bidding for, for fish over there. Yeah, like a local fish market. Yeah. Fish market. So will there be people from um, restaurants or just families come and buy their fish? No, no, different, different families. You see. Just families come by. That's brilliant. Yeah, you see how they're walking again. down again, look. Like, Problem is water is not good, dirty water. Yeah.
the sea. Oh, washing the dishes, yeah. Long, skinny village, this one. For washing. Driving along, filming them in their house, in their front door. We hope we're heading to the fish market. Fish shop? Are we going out or not? Uh, are we go out? Are we going out? We're going to go and get some fish for dinner. Oh, where are they? Oh, they're so... Lobsters. Woof! Prawns! Oh, lobsters. Prawns. Yeah, I know. That's amazing. You're feeding them too much. <laughs> uh, that. Wow. That's incredible. Uh, how many do you know? Um, one each. One each is enough, do you, you think? Cook? <laughs> you, you tell us. One each. Do you want one each or two each? Which is best? Two each. Two each? Yeah, you like. What do you think? We get six. One each. The boys can have two and then the girls can have a bit more. Three each shop too, look. Can't go wrong. Yeah. 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 That little boy's buying a selection. Oh, no. <gasps> Just finding his seat and grab a few more. our house boat to be canoeing down the river or oh, down the canal should I say there's whoops guys down at the local pub here look oh, this is peaceful This is the village, which is built on a little bit of land on either side through the canal. It can't be more than... How wide would it be, Peter? Six metres? Right, the, the width of these uh, probably a little more, maybe bank, eight. six, eight metres wide. So the village is all one house wide. Can't buy this experience. And long. Oh, yes we did. <laughs> <laughs> Sandbanks there because when the monsoon comes the canal level rises. 
But it's amazing how clean the, this water is. There's, there's no litter. In the city, there's litter everywhere, isn't there? But not here. Here we are. Here's a man come down. Oh, the river. I don't think so. We're not he's, too sure. He suggested to me that this is the way we should sit. I'm going to wash the dishes. No? I oh, know. Now we come to get some water. I hope they're boiling that. I don't think they need to. Look at the colours of these houses. It's amazing. Ooh, that's right. Petey trying to move position. See, he makes us all wobble. There's a cooking pot there, look, by the side. The canal, I keep saying over. Hey! There's a lady doing her cooking pots. Oh, that's a cooking pot. Oh, fish. Cleaning the fish for dinner. Is the man doing a diary? No, my journal. Your journal. <laughs> I was arriving at the This is lunch being prepared on or served on banana leaf plates. And we are to try and um, cook by hand. Okay, so here's the canal. Canal. Are there canals? Yes, there are canals. I keep saying that. Where does this come down to? Get some more cooking water. And we're just going to go over the bridge. Oops, too fast. Here we go. So here we are atop the bridge. There's the local supermarket. Up, man. Mm. There we go. He's speedy in the front like that young boy. Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a funny mix. Hello? Hello? Huh? So we've just arrived at the tea plantation. I'm not quite sure where we're going to walk. If we're going to walk through it, but look. And that's cloud. The clouds come down. And that's the trucks going around behind us. 
Standing in here wondering what we're all up to. This is the track we're following and you can just see up there those goats are wild. No Julie goats. There he is. slowly but somewhere here this is Peter they've adopted him okay thank you <laughs> where are you from mountain yep. I'm going down the mountain and they say uncle uncle let me take your photo. More goats. And we've just walked through a swarm of about 50 Indian schoolgirls who all wanted to shake our hands and wish us well. They're so lovely people here. Hello, just the... telling us about what you can't do in the park. We had to stop, Petey. <laughs> Downtown Munar. <laughs> yes, good team driving. Uh, we are uh, leaving Munar, coming down from 1600 feet. And we, as we're driving down, we're driving through cloud. It's quite a sight. thing is we just came under that very little over that rickety old colonial built bridge and the stuff we'd put on the top so that the girls had a bit more room in the back seat hit the roof and we nearly lost all the luggage <laughs> so Josie is now uh, fixing that up for us with the Whoops, all picking by hand here. This is friend. The most disturbed that we're stopped on the main road. Wow, imagine doing that for eight hours a day. They're very happy though.
see the run traffic hold up here, look. <laughs> Okay, so we're on our way to Mysore and we just had a little um, toilet break and this is the like roadhouse parking toilets you can see there with the green doors on which are um, just nice large holes in the ground. We have just crossed the Western Gap and uh, this is the uh, local restaurant. Although I do oh. notice that he has got TV foxtail. <laughs> He's got no roof, but they've got foxtail. Let's have a look on the street, shall we? See. That's Josie, our driver, just coming towards me. He's just stopped for a cup of tea, well earned too. He's been driving for about six hours. Amazing. Amazing. Just saying. TV. Yes, you must have TV. Yeah. Is this a bison? It's buffalo. Buffalo. It's not wild. Not wild, no. We've seen millions of monkeys. Everywhere we go, we see monkeys. Okay, last leg. Trucks in the back are grandstands, so the people stand in those to watch. There will be one and a half million, maybe two million people in the city to watch the procession. It's going to be crazy. I'm glad we're out of it in some ways. Seven o'clock in the morning. There's a big procession in my store this morning. So we're leaving early because although it's people a four stay. hour. This one also people stay. In the mat now? Yeah. This mat is a reserve. Reserve. It's a local reserve. No? Oh, okay. This is the local is reserve. <laughs> All people in the city. They've been here for a long time. The roads yeah. are, this is the road, this is, the roads are really, really empty. You can see the people this coming is out. This is the accommodation is water. Uh -huh. This uh, charges more water guest people. Ah, oh, yes. This is water, this building. Yeah. This uh, room guest is uh, sitting in the... Functional. Mm. You see, you watch the. I think comfort with it all coming past. Yeah, coming. It's a safety place. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. it is. There will be many. See, look, flies from here. You see. Full of flies, right? Full of sudden, loads of flies. And this might be the reason just there. Dried fish. This lady here is going to sit under this sun of the trust. 
This is for the cobby boys. This is Kentucky Fried Chicken, Indian style. So they're all just in the egg again. So this is Mapsa Market Friday morning. And then she's just going to thread them up onto the uh, on the ropes. This part of the market smells beautiful. There are some So the veggie stores. Part of them. So on that side is all the bread. Spice for me. So here we've got the butcher, Indian style. This is just for you, Laura. And in the back of the stall. So all in a row, all these butcher's stalls, selling, I don't know what it is. So this is um, at the end of the market, so this is where the parking is. The guys are up there, I better keep going. Local rice, which seems to be like a cross between white and brown, it's a larger grain. But you see, there's the sort of looks like brown, and then that's a very brown. And the lighter brown. They seem to be graded, it's bigger chunks that end, bigger grain chunks, so it looks bumpy by people. And then we're going to the white rice here. But this is all they have in this store. Get too close because it's flat. The place. How many steaks, madam? Is it? Okay, 
so here we are. Hello, everybody. We are um, in Panjim, which is the capital city of Goa, and we've come to this restaurant called Venite. And I'll just slowly spin around. It used to be a backpackers back in the hippie days, and the guy that owns it has converted it into a restaurant. And I'll just zoom in and show you. You see all the painted panels on the windows, all around the doorway. Oop. That's some sort of bizarre thing like, I don't know what it is, hanging. And I'll just spin slowly around and then you can see more painting look on the window. Oops. And the lampshades. Way up high, old, old terracotta pots. And I'll just go through to the archway, through to the next section of the restaurant. So here. So this is the bar through here. You see all the graffiti. Just zoom in. So back in the uh, days of the hippies, this was the backpackers where they all stayed and they drew all over the walls. Probably lots of band the bomb or something. And um, he's just left it all, all over. God is power for humanity. I don't know, oops, this, this, is the, this is the entrance to the, the backpackers, that are, the restaurant that we're in. That's just the whole floor back through the pavement is decorated with shells and stones. And that's the road there. So we come in through the whole doorway. It's covered in the shells. Beautiful patterns. And then we've got the old door here. So this is walking, coming through as you come over the step, over the mat. And then there's this mosaic floor. Incense burning everywhere, and this is the the walls which are plain plaster, and they've etched lots of symbols and patterns and everything into the wall, and then they've painted them. And let me just come back. Whoops. So there are all these etchings all over the wall. I like this idea. Let's see how they've just scraped the, past, pl uh, the plaster wall and then filled it in. Uh, we just woke up this morning, came down here and were lucky enough to find the fishermen pulling in their nets. What they've done, the boat is now beached and the net is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six guys here and six guys about a hundred meters behind us. What they're doing is dragging it in together. So we're waiting to see what's going to happen when it gets to the beach. Should be fascinating. Show, we have a look at the guys behind. So along the rope they haul in, they've got these loops and they put the pole through the loop and then they can put the full force behind it. They always keep telling each other what to do, shouting. The dog's in there. Um, the dog must belong to one of the boatmen, I think. I reckon he's in there for fish. Look, the dog's got a fish. <laughs> So just come to the other side of the net. And they've got quite a few more this side. Getting more critical now, they're getting closer. The 
We've got a seagull flying above us. Obviously, he's come down for his share this morning. Probably some nets drifted, and they've now drifted past the boat, so they're having to lift it over the boat. Carol and dragging it in. So here it comes. Fish there. There's must have been eight guys out there in the boats, and then these other ones have all just come to help them pull in the net. Outside day beds, this is our side, if you like. That's not really how we do it, but and then they've got this area here which is beautiful towards the pool. And you'll see the girls there applying spots for their sand flies that they've been bitten on their bottoms. Um, very, very attractive. And then out here we've got another outside area and a little that's there for when you go down for washing your feet, which is quite nice. Okay, a panorama view of the beach, beach at uh, Goa. It's very, very pretty. We obviously get a chance to warm. We, we have our own personal lifeguard. We have seven of them between four houses. Not lifeguard, security guard. And there's the captain's house. Very authentic. I'll just close in a little. Very pretty. The nets are just here to keep animals out at night. There are a few dogs floating around. There are, I don't know if you can see them, there are some dragonflies there. They can give a little nip. Uh, lots of mosses and a few sand flies. Uh, it's jungle, effectively. I mean, no matter what we think, it is jungle, so you need to be prepared for that. Well, we've just taken a little walk through the village, Madra, Mandram, yep. Madram village. And I don't know if you can hear, but it's, it's Sunday morning and there's obviously a service in this church, which I think will be Catholic Church, Mandram, there we go. Holy Rosemary Ma Church, Mandram. Just a little breeze comes through. Unfortunately, there's traffic. You can hear the singing. So there. Now we're going to where are we going to? Junus Wado, which is June's huts and tree houses. Oh, is it? Go. We'll check them out for future reference. And here, there's Shankar, which has got the Sciencia Zone. Silent Zone of Madron Beach. I think this is, must be where the flexible yoga lady is staying. I don't know what it is either. Oh, it's rice, is it? Must be harvesting the rice, I think. It's rice. There is a man under there, I'm sure. So he's taking the rice over into that paddy field, which has already been cut, and then um, it looks like he's going to uh, lay it all out on those tarpaulins. There's the children all coming out from church, or from Sunday school. Oh, well, that's Ted, but behind him. Mm -hmm. 
all dressed up in the Sunday best. There's Ted. There's a buffalo. And there's Peter. I hope he's not taking any notice of him. Must be lunch time. So we'll go and leave you there, and then if you get uh, picked on, we can go back and get the police. I don't know if she might be the buffalo owner. Yeah. Just coming out to check on what's happening. Check on her cow. She's just been down to the uh, river and got some water. She's just checking her plants. <laughs> Think cricket. We, we beat you cricket last night. Yeah. Did you watch the cricket? No, not from Russia. Did you watch the cricket? Yeah. No? Yeah. Australia? Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. 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 India? Yes. I like it here. Love it. Love it. The car is not India. You are not India? No. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Mysore is India. Mumbai is India. Yeah. Mumbai's India. Oh, Calcutta is India. So no go. No, 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 too soft. Too nice. <laughs> too nice. <laughs> okay. We'll Come see on, you. the ticket may show my friend. No. Yeah. On the way back. I'm not buying the way back, maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe we're on the way back, yeah. We should name it. Pop shop. Up to the beach, I think, yeah. Oops. So, way to the beach through Wi Fi. Inside the bar and restaurant, yummy grub and crazy drinks.